Thank you. The first question um, <laughs> on the ballot uh, November 2nd was a question to renew our operating levy that was set to expire. It was one that had been passed in 2011. Our operating levies, as you know, are good for about 10 years, for 10 years, unless otherwise specified. And that one was set to expire. Question two on the ballot was a technology levy, a capital projects technology levy. As you know, our first question did pass with voter approval and the second question did not pass. Something of interest, uh, the number of people who were registered to vote as of 7 o'clock in the morning on Election Day, 55,140 in our district boundaries. Those that registered on Election Day, 157. The people who sent in absentee ballots and mail-in ballots was 598. The total number of voters was 8,835. Um, couple of the two questions we had on the ballot, the yes the question number one did pass with 4,639 votes voting for and 3,284 voting against it. So it did pass. Question number two did not pass, but by a very, very slim margin. The yes vote on that question two had 3,901 votes and the no vote on question number two was 4,016. So just around 100, 100 and 15 votes difference, uh, which was a very, very close margin. And for people who are interested, you can log in at the Secretary of State website and you can look by individual precincts within our district boundaries and see whether your individual precincts voted yes or no for the for this election and, and by how much. So with that, I'm recommending um, our board certify the results of this election. Thank you, Christine. I'm going to read the resolution, and then if there's any discussion, um, we can do that as well. So, be it resolved by the School Board of Independence School District Number 622, State of Minnesota, as follows. Number one, it is hereby found, determined, and declared that the special election of the voters of this school district held on November 2nd, 2021, was in all respects duly and legally called and held. Number two, as specified in the attached abstract and return of votes cast, at said election, a total of 8,835 voters of the school district voted on the question of renewing the referendum revenue authorization of the school district for taxes payable in 2023. And thereafter, school district question number one, of which 4,639 voted in favor, 3,284 voted against the same and there were zero completely blank or defective ballots. Said proposition having received the approval of at least a majority of such votes is hereby declared to have carried. Number three, as specified in the attached abstract and return of votes cast, at said election, a total of 8,835 votes of the school district voted on the question of approving a capital project levy authorization to fund technology and curriculum for taxes payable in 2022 and thereafter school district question two of which 3901 voted in favor 4016 voted against the same and there were zero completely blank or defective ballots said proposition having not received the approval of at least a majority of the votes is hereby declared to have failed the clerk or number four, the clerk is hereby directed to certify the results of the election to the county auditors of each county in which the school district is located in whole or in part and to the commissioner of education within 15 days of the date hereof. Can I get a motion and a second to approve? So moved. Okay, moved by Livingston. Second. Second by Martins. Um, is there any discussion? Um, I would just like to thank our voters for um, the renewal of the levy. Uh, it's very important to our district that we continue to have that money in place. We're always struggling, mm -hmm. and if we were to have lost that, that would have been a significant hit. We're disappointed that the tech levy didn't pass. Um, we did recently get all of the students' laptops for the one-to-one, -one and in the future we will have additional expenses to maintain that so it will be hard for our district we'll need to figure out how to continue to maintain the technology we do have but again we appreciate um, 
the vote in favor. And we also want to um, show our appreciation to all the folks who worked on the levies and got out the vote and, um, you know, helped fund the district. Anything else? Okay, if not, um, all in favor say aye. 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 And all opposed say nay. Okay, then the motion carries and uh, the resolution is approved. Um, that was our only agenda item, so can I get a motion and a second to adjourn? So moved. Second. Okay, moved by Anderson, second by Livingston. All in favor say aye. 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 And all opposed say nay. Okay, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you.